Welcome, Internet. Ah, uh, yes. My sideshows have the best intros. I'm sorry, Michael. I just have this amazing orchestral backing to my intro. Yes, welcome, folks. It's Sunday afternoon. I'm sitting here with a cup of coffee. Mmm, that's good, and I'm sure it sounds lovely. And, uh, I'm starting up my new show. I mean, it's not like I haven't tried to, like, three times before, but the emulators kept crashing. <laughs> um, yes, welcome to my new sideshow, which I am calling James RPGs, where I play a bunch of old JRPGs that I remember, slash, like, slash, have heard are amazing. Don't know. So, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm just now bugging along this. Oh, okay. this reminds me of the Game of Thrones intro. I don't know why. It's like the weird globe thing followed by that, and then there's awesome guitar music. Sweet. Anyway, yes. Uh, so this is going to be my new show, and I'm going to sit and play RPGs for a couple hours, split it up into pieces for you guys to enjoy with your eye holes via the internet. So, uh, yeah. To start with, well, wait, butterflies. I gotta wait until we get to the actual reveal of the game. But this is a game that I remember playing a tiny bit as a kid. I don't think... No, this wasn't one I really got terribly into. My brother had bought it and thought it was good. And then I tried a couple of times, but I was eight and didn't understand. So yeah. It was developed by Game Arts, so I know that much. But they couldn't think of a more generic name, I don't think, so they went with Game Arts. Now we wait for loading. Ooh, ominous, ominous sounds. Okay, so we've got a man in a chair. Ow, oh, God! Turn out the lights! Who, who turned on the lights? I guess I must have dozed off. Oh dear God! I so as I say, I've again. played this a couple of times, but I had honestly completely me. forgotten it's fully Boy, voice acted. Where well, are we now? It's got voice acting in it. It's only been a half an hour since you so, last. So, based on the general people. quality of um. I keep telling voice you, acting boy. in games in the but 90s. No We're now. in for a treat, you folks. Enjoy. Excuse okay, me. so we've got totally not evil guy with it. cyborg guy, and <laughs> oh, completely innocent like blondie there, like that. who is apparently his son. But you know that lean is a very special part of our military plan. Oh dear God! What Aren't do they have planned for her? I just realized the dad has long hair as well. And she's got the third an emo fringe cut. Of the salt runes is almost finished. Ugh, God. I'm counting on you too. His, his eye, Malin his eye is Lina. bright green. I mean, actually, so are, so are his sons. It's still we weird. We've an elite battalion of our forces to this excavation. Wait, what? I'm sure that we'll hear good news. Why, why do you need soldiers at the an excavation? The is 13, 40 hours. <laughs> I, I, I like, now um, I like Minnie, space. Minnie Mullen's face. Is There's something really 15, derpy about it. He's just like, he's just staring hours. into the camera going, you're, you're playing Please. this. This is Open what you're doing. Open the for General Ball. Yes, Colonel Mullen. So, yes, sir. Uh, how heavy are her feet? <laughs> right, folks. We're zooming into the viewport to reveal that we are playing. Gr 
Grandia! Or Grandia? Grandia. I'm gonna go with Grandia. It sounds more grandiose. So yeah, I don't really know. So this is one of those games where it's just like, I remember I was having it, but I don't know a huge amount about it. So I am in for just as much of a surprise as you guys are past like this opening 30 seconds, which I've A, played through like twice before the emulator crashed before, and also remember as a kid not being able to get past because I didn't understand basic clues. Those trees actually look kind of decent, until you realize that they're just floating discs of leaves. Oh, hello. Hello purple haired girl with giant, giant hair bow. How do you do? Oh, and we've got nice music. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so she's running in circles. She's really excited. Yay! Hey, you. Huh? So I'm getting beaten up. This will teach you, you punk. Oh! How? Right? How hard would you have to punch someone to do that to them? Like, oh, like that was a clear you, like two or three meters that kid got thrown. Again. I didn't trash it. Wait, what? Why won't you listen to me? Oh god, I'm his voice is going to be amazing. An adventurer on this treasure hunt. I look forward Shut to this. Up. There's no treasure in all that junk. Now you've completely trashed it. <laughs> anyway, don't ever hunt for treasure in my shed again. You hear me, boy? <sighs> that guy also has very heavy footsteps. Also, this town looks like a complete dump. Moon. Everything is made Never, of, like, ever scrap understands. metal. Justin! I, by the way, can't skip over any of the dialogue here. It's... wait. Justin, Justin! You okay? Her hair bow is flying. Like it hurt. Oh, Sue, did you see that? Her hair bow... Don't worry. ...is flying. Like game? To it. Game, are you First going to... to game? Denver? You can't just leave that there. It's it's right. the so how game. Did you go? Did you find anything game ain't gonna explain yet? it, is it? Nah, nothing at all. It really was all true. So, I guess apparently Let's these two wrong. kids are playing some kind of treasure you, hunt. What about you? Of course, I found something. Ta -da! Ta -da! She found an apron. Armor. Or apparently the legendary armor. Seriously, you can't just... You, go, you have to explain something armor. here, game. Please. Great, Sue. That's the first one. That leaves... Hmm. The Shield of Light, the Warrior's Helmet, and the Spirit Sword. This is for your benefit, player. Don't I hope you're paying attention. We gotta get him by sundown, or we'll lose. Hmm. Yuck, I don't want to marry that awful god. <laughs> oh god, I've got th this voice acting is gonna be something else, isn't it? I look forward to it. This was them properly being like, well, we got a CD, let's fill it up. I mean, we already started following, but sure. We found it, Gons. The first treasure. Oh. And now I'm in control. That was a weird transition. Let's talk to Gantz here. So, clearly he's going for a gang aesthetic here. So, well, I think Justin, see? Taking your sweet time, aren't you? First rate adventurer, smancherer. <laughs> How old are these kids? Like 10? In the world was found. There's no use for adventurers. You're way behind the times. Now I've gone all southern. Me and accents, we go wandering around. Huh. 
You don't even know that. There ain't, there's an end of the world. You, first rate adventurer? Ain't no way. You're gonna find the full treasure before sundown. This duel, good as one. As you promised, starting tomorrow, Sue, she's in my galaxy. Huh, Gantz? She's gotta be my bride. No way, Gantz. Not a bad man. No way, Gantz. We got plenty of time. And looky here. Dirty apron. Found it. Haha. -ha. Took it big edge. Okay, yay, let's get some clues. Find out where everything is. So we got the warrior's helmet. Which is in place you always hear the sound of water, which is literally anywhere along the river. And for oh. And I keep getting pushed slowly along. Where's the shield of light? The place where you always hear seagulls squawking. Hmm. Where are these two kids? So we got this thing close, Justin. There are four treasures. Oh. Uh -huh. There are four treasures. I'm trying to think of what voice that was. Uh, are hidden around North Palm. You'll never be able to find them all before sundown. <laughs> and then. They... How old are these kids? They're old enough to care about girls not liking them, but also young enough to find this idea fun. Uh, uh, it's Doug. It's me bring a picture of Doug, and then laugh at how I'm. I don't have any kind of parameters of what Doug looks like. I don't even know what. I've never even watched that show. I just know about it being boring as sin. Uh, why don't you just give up, Justin? Sue will become Gantz's bride, right? They'll live happily ever after. That's how all f all forced marriages work out, right? So yeah. Got. Should be fun, so let's have a look. So we got the town of Parm, so there's lots of stuff down here, but I'm guessing we're gonna be told off for trying to go down. And then, some way. Oh, okay, gates and all sorts, so. Hey, look! Would you look at that? That looks like a thing along the river! <laughs> That's useful! <laughs> Yay, hide and seek. It's a jewel, not hide and seek. Well then why did Gantz climb down into the canal? He's sneaking around doing something as a lot of us hide and seek. No, use a pot to play hide and seek. <laughs> Yay, clues everyone! I mean it's not like we saw it on the map or anything. I mean it's pretty cool that they use the map like that. The map is literally just the map zoomed out. Yay! We found a battered pot. It's totally the warrior's helmet. Nothing else. And there's just another space down there. Oh man. Camera controls. Ugh. Fuck. Right, folks. Uh, so, game crashed again. And uh, thanks, to, but however, thanks to the magic of being prepared, I've decided I'm going to use that footage that I just took. But I'm going to load up a save that I made before I got anything done. So yeah, we're gonna have a good, much better time, hopefully. So that loads us up in the port of Parm, which has what sounds like a lot of seagulls in it. <laughs> Looking for something, man. We, we don't want to go on the boat, I guess. You god! That gone what could he be thinking? Where'd he put that pot laid over there? I mean, it's not even good pot. It's, it's like a real pot lid. It's not a lid made of my medicine. So yeah, sorry guys. So sudden jump to the port of Parm, which is literally just a little bit further. Oh, I didn't even know you could get out somewhere like here. This is cool. 
jumping on the handrail, it's gonna break again. Don't worry, let's have a look. Oh, that's cool. That's a nice overview. They're old and fragile. <laughs> oh dear. It's funny because he endangered his own life. Ah. Uh. But his back is covered with sea children. Ooh, you're right. Eh. I don't see anything. So yeah. Grandia is a thing. Oh, there's another door there that I can't go through because reasons. This totally looks like a pot lid. That I want. <laughs> so yeah. Oh. Those are surprisingly light doors. <laughs> Now we're back in town. Right, let's pick up the pot lid again because Lord knows I'm gonna need to do that. Right, so he gave us the clues for those ones and now we need to find out where, see if he'll give us a clue as to where the other one is. So, like, because, so we found the armor, the shield, the helmet, and now we need to find the sword, I think it was. <laughs> and now we found the battered pot and the, the battered pot and the lid. Ugh, you found the warrior's helmet and the shield of light. No, I'm Batman. I guess you got free of the four treasures. Don't let it get to your head. I won't find the last one. The spirit sword. So easy, Justin. Heh <laughs> heh. Spirit sword? Now I'm Joey from... Now I'm Joey Wheeler from Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series. Heh <laughs> Piece of cake. Then I win, Gantz. We didn't see anything like a sword anywhere. Friendship. Listen close. Listen close, Justin. Spirit sword. <laughs> the spirit sword is in my treasure chest in my house. And now I've gone all southern again. It's locked so you can't open it. Here's the catch. Where do you think the key is? <laughs> so, we need to open a treasure chest. Hmm, how can we manage that? Where on earth it's on the pit? A treasure chest. Ah, uh, the 2D sprites on 3D. I miss ga games. I miss stuff like this. You got it a lot in the olden days. Because they were trying to save disk space, because 3D models take up a lot of space. Oh hey, it's Gantz's house. That's not useful. It's almost as if I knew where I was going. Shh. Let's see. I assume that's his mum. Ah! Her hair's tied up in her picture, but not in here. The stew's ready! It's also almost done this time. Where are Gantz and Tent? Know where Gantz and Treasure Chest Key is? Oh, uh, okay. So Gantz gave Tent his treasure chest key, so we need to find somewhere, I guess. Alright, let's move along then. Right, who's this kid? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, oh, this is tense. Good. It's not as. <laughs> it's like this is like right. You, if you were playing this blind, like I was earlier, you'd have no way of knowing who was who. There's of course no way I will tell Gantz anything about anything. Because he's a mean man with a Brooklyn accent, <laughs> which I totally made up. Okay, so they lost the key. So let's help help him look for it. Now, where did he find it? Where did he lose it? He fell down by the river near the cafe. Oh, and then we're on the ground. <laughs> Just an instant transition. 
the underground cafe. Oh, hey, found it. That was easy. Well, I suppose it is the first level of the game. I'll remember it, it for two the whole days. Useful kid. Useful. Gantz told me not to give this key to you, but I'll give it to you anyway. I can't be indebted to anyone if I'm going to be a man. I am a man of justice. I am a man of peace. I am a man of vengeance. Fuck you! So, uh, yay, we've got it. We have the key now. Sorry, I'm just thinking of the boy who's like, I need to be a man. I'm like, do you, do you know what, do you have what it takes to be a man, man? Oh, and there he is, telling me where his house is. So now I find the spirit sword. <laughs> Seriously, are you going to explain what Puffy is? It would be really useful to me. Here it is, the spirit sword! A wooden sword. Well, like, that's kind of what I expected. It's still, it's nicer than the other items I've picked up. Because if I uh, take a look at them quickly. Uh, I think I can equip them. But like, they're all useless, so I got... Actually no, uh, I think the only one that's worthwhile is the wooden sword. It's actually usable. The rest of them is like... A cutboard as a shield, which gives me plus one defense and smells fishy. <laughs> or I can have a pot lip, which is the exact same stats. Plus two defense for goggles, and then plus one defense block. And I've got my adventure clothing, which are plus two, and. or an apron. Her Sunday best gives more help, more defense than the. A ribbon gives more. Gives the scene defense as a battered pot, apparently. The <laughs> Sometimes things don't make sense. Right, we found all the items. Now we need to go and show them to Gantz and laugh in his face. Ha ha ha! Laugh in his stupid Brooklyn accented face. Oh, oh dear. They're getting into trouble, it looks like. Why do you guys keep pulling these pranks all the time? You listening, Gantz? Look at that. Greg is telling Gantz. Greg! So we got Gantz, Justin, Sue, and Greg so far. I told Gantz to stop talking to the bridge. Walking the bridge. It's Gantz who starts. Set the boxes and bridge. So let's just act casual and walk on by. I'm actually being forced to walk there. Hey, wait a second. Weren't you two playing together? Surely you jest. Why would I be playing with gods? I can't stand the Brooklyn accent. We just happen to be passing by, right, Puffy? Seriously, does everyone know what Puffy is apart from us? No way that I got... Of course you wouldn't. There's no way that... Yep. I can't get myself into the Brooklyn accent again. Yeah, there we go. Of course you wouldn't. There's no way that I, Gantz, will be playing with Justin. Me and Justin are having a duel. A duel of the ages. And now I'm Merrick. What? What's the meaning of this, Justin? Busted. Run! Run for your lives. Oh, well, I guess I'll let them go. Hey, it's him. He made it! How did he teleport there? Run away! Hi, hi folks. So, uh, if you didn't like what you just watched 20 odd minutes off, uh, you've probably already been to the comments to tell me just how much you hate my guts. But if you did enjoy it, please hit the like button, 
maybe hit the subscribe button because uh, we make other stuff. We've got we, like we've got our own things. We've got a combined thing. We do a lot of video games. We'll, I'm sure we'll do something you like at some point. So yeah, thanks for watching.